Và Trúc xin sẻ cùng phải giá channel Hi Hi everyone What we are going to have in our lesson today So for today We will learn about cellular component Cellular component in plant cell and animal cell The new objective for our lesson is to identify the cellular components of the plant and animal cell. So in cellular component, there are cell membrane, cell wall and cytoplasm. So we will learn the structure and the function for three parts components in the cellular cell. Okay, first we learn about the cell membrane. The structure of cell membrane. So this diagram shows the structure of cell membrane. Cell membrane is a lipoprotein layer that surrounds the cell and organelle. The basic membrane structure consists of a bimolecular phospholipid sweet layer with globular protein unit floating in it, forming a mosaic pattern. So these two phospholipid bilayer and have the pro uh, globular protein that floating in between of the phospholipid bilayer. The fluidity of the membrane depends on the length of the fatty acid chain, their saturation and the amount of cholesterol in them. Sterility effects, permeability, membrane enzyme activities, exception to molecules and with which membrane it will fuse. So this diagram shows the unsaturated and saturated uh, hydrocarbon change. If more unsaturated hydrocarbon change, so the cell membrane more fluid. Compare it has more saturated hydrocarbon change. Cholesterol with its hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail fit neatly within the phospholipid layer. It functions to control mechanical stability, flexibility, and permeability of the membrane, especially in reducing leakage of small polar molecules. The proteins are embedded in the phospholipid layer like mosaic, either in only one monolayer or span the bilayer. These are integral or intrinsic proteins that need be because of their corresponding polar properties of their system. The peripheral or intrinsic ones are attached on the outer polar layers of the phospholipid. So, the diagram shows the protein uh, in the uh, cell membrane. Integral protein. Okay. Membrane protein function as a carrier or channel for polar molecules to cross the membrane. The carbohydrate exit as short front chain of the sugar attached to protein. Or for name glycoprotein, or lipid, name glycolipid on the outer surface of the membrane. They function as a receptor for chemicals like hormones, to neighboring cells, and for immune response. Okay, now we go to function of the cell membrane. The mem cell membrane protects the cell. Thus, any chemical or reaction happening outside the cell will not harm it. It serves as a boundary between the cell and its environment. Therefore, ions outside the cell cannot enter the cell. Cell membrane also regulates or controls the passage of substances in and out of the cell. It happens especially through the protein channel, which allows only specific 
polar molecules to move in or out. It acts as a receptor site in recognizing external stimuli such as hormone and insulin molecules. The cell membrane also enables the cell to recognize other cells and to behave in an organized manner during the formation of tissues in the embryo. Okay, the cell wall is a carbohydrate layer of cellulose found outside of the plasma membrane of the plant cells. There are two types of the cell wall, the primary cell wall and the secondary cell wall. So this diagram shows the two types of the cell wall, primary cell wall and secondary cell wall. So this diagram shows the cross-section of the plant that shows the uh, primary cell wall and the secondary cell wall. The primary cell wall is found in the young cells and cells that are not highly differentiated. It is a thin layer found just outside the plasma membrane of the most plant cell. It is also found on the outer layer of cell with secondary cell wall. It consists of randomly arranged microfibrils of cellulose in amorphous matrix. Each microfibril consists about 100 inch of cellulose molecule of 5 to 20 micrometer and diameter of 1 to 2 micrometer. The matrix is made up of the complex polysaccharides such as pectin and hemicellulose with long and branch molecules. On the outer layer of the wall, there are a middle lamella layer that consists of magnesium and calcium pectate for cementing adjacent cells. The primary cell wall is porous, enable water to be transported epoplastically along it. It is elastic and strong, enables parenchyma cell to become turgid and support the, the whole plant, especially in herbaceous plants. The wall is usually perforated with plasmodesmata for transport of substances between cells. Now we go to the secondary cell wall. Secondary cell wall is a harder and usually thicker layer of the cell wall formed between the plasma membrane and the primary cell wall. The wall is made up of a regularly arranged microfibrils or bigger, bigger macrofibrils. The fibrils are arranged in layer of parallel rows which are perpendicular to those of upper or lower layers. The metric in the secondary wall is impregnated with thickening, forming a hard and impervious layer. The deposition of thickening in dynamic vessel is not uniform but in pattern like rings, helicals or networks. The structure shows the difference between the primary cell wall and secondary cell wall. Okay, let's we go to the functions of the cell wall. Cell wall protects the cell from phys uh, physical injuries and hemolysis. Cell wall support the plant through cell rigidity, rigidity or mechanical strength for tall woody trees. Cell wall control growth by limiting individual cell size and shape of the cell through orientation of the fibril in the wall. Cell wall form a system or transport pathway for water and mineral ion. Water can both be transported along the porous cell wall in epoplast way and through the plasmodesmata of cell in implast way. Cell wall control excessive loss of water from epidermal cell of the leaf and stem by having a wax cell on the surface of the cell wall. Cell wall also a uh, cock cell have stabilized cell wall for the same purpose. Cell wall of the xylem vessel form empty tube for water transport from the roots to the leaf. Racket 
from a water transport system with a lot of pits so that water can be literally transported. Stiff tube with a thinner wall but with stiff plates to shift a, a stiff like signified cross wall will give extra strength for transport of organic compounds. Cell wall also controls excessive loss of water from epidermal cell of the leaf and stem by heavy wax cuticle the surface of the cell wall. Cox cell have stabilized, stabilized cell wall. Parenchyma and parenchyma. Cell wall also function provide food storage in the form of hemicellulose in the thumb seed. Also, cell wall provide large surface area to volume ratio in good hair cells where absorption can take place. Cell wall also control the stage of water and dissolved mineral ions into the plant by having a lignified casparian tip of a uh, a stage cell in the endodermis of the root. As we go to last cellular component, cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is the protoplasmic part of the cell which is outside the nucleus and is surrounded by the plasma membrane. It is the aqueous part of the cell after all organelles are removed by centrifugation. The cytoplasm of plant cell is usually referred to as photoplast, excluding the set nature. Let's we go to the last cellular component, which is cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is the protoplasmic part of the cell which is outside of the nucleus and surrounded by the plasma membrane. It is the aqueous part of the cell after organelles are removed by centrifugation. The cytoplasm of plant cell is usually referred to as protoplast, excluding the sub -factual. Cytoplasma, the pH of the cytoplasma is 6.8. It has a considerable high density with a variety of solute. Cytoplasm can be divided into cytosol or ground substance and cytoskeleton or cell inclusion. Cytosol for the ground substance, it is the solute part of the cytoplasm. The solute in the cytosol can be divided into two solutes, colloid and particle. Okay, let me check what is uh, in the true solute or crystalloid. This consists of micromolecules such as gases like oxygen, uh, carbon dioxide, also mineral ions which include Potassium ion, helium ion, chloride ion. Second part of the true solute is meso molecules such as monosaccharide like glucose and fructose, disaccharide such as maltose, sucrose, amino acid, organic acid, nucleotide, and vitamin. Okay, what is the colloid? Colloid uh, include Macromolecules such as protein, like enzyme, hormone, and structural protein, glycogen in liver cells and muscle tissues. Uh, for particles, uh, droplets and vesicles, this include glycogen granules in liver cells and muscle tissue, such granules in plant cell, fine fat droplet, and init vesicle, which contain. Okay, what is the function of cytosol? 
Tetra cell uh, function uh, to store vital uh, chemical including fat. Tetra uh, cell also site for certain metabolic pathways such as glycolysis. Synthesis of fatty acid, amino acid, and protein. Tetra cell also, also enables organelles to move about in it. Now we go to cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton determines the three-dimensional shape of the animal cell and gives certain firmness in the plant cell. The fine fibril can be divided into three types: microtubule, microfilament, and intermediate filament. So this is the structure of cytoskeleton. That of microtubule, intermediate filament, and microfilament. Okay, let me check the microtubule. Microtubule are the fine unbranched tubule with a diameter of 20 nanometer, a wall of 5 nanometer thick and very in length. The wall is composed of 13 rows of globular protein subunit called tubulin, which are arranged helically. The microtubule in cells are usually stable, however some may be unstable as they can change their length suddenly. Other tubulin subunits are able to attach to the base of the cilia and flagella, partic participating in their growth and movement. So, this show the flagella. Okay, that's all for our lesson today. Still, we meet again in the next lesson. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications.